If you focus on how much God loves you, it will dissolve your self-doubt. If you focus on how much God loves you, self-doubt comes from a place where you are not conscious of God's love. Because the nature of love itself is that it fills your heart with assurance. And let me tell you something. When Peter was denying him three times, this will be on Thursday. You know, some people say Jesus was crucified. Jesus was not crucified on Friday. He was crucified on Thursday. Someone say how? Because the Bible says he must spend three nights and three days. So, in there to die, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, then resurrect on Sunday morning. When Peter denied him on Thursday night, one, two, three times, when it was the third time with the third crow, who looked at Peter? When he looked at him, was it look like? It was not a look of, it was a look of, I forgive you. That was why, as soon as Peter heard that, he rushed to ask forgiveness. What happened to Judas Iscariot? There was nobody to tell him, I love you. He committed suicide. Because... Because the love of God has the power on you. And I'm saying it to you because we could talk about a lot of ways to overcome your self-doubt. But the more you focus on how much God loves you, it will fill your heart with assurance. So get what the trick of the devil is. The trick of the devil is always to make you doubt God's love for you. And I always say this. One of the most dangerous places you can be in your Christian life is to ever be in the place where you think or you doubt God's love for you. If you are in a place in your Christian life where you doubt God's love for you, where you think God doesn't love you, you are in a terrible place. As a matter of fact, you are under spiritual attacks. People don't understand spiritual attack. They think it's some arrows coming from somewhere. Spiritual attack comes in your thoughts. Satan puts a thought in your mind that God doesn't love you. God doesn't care about you. And the more you buy that, the more you see manifest in your life. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 in verse 3. I fear by one. You didn't hear any means. It can be a broken relationship. It can be a failed marriage. It can be your upbringing, your mom, your dad. It can come through any means. The word beguiled there is seduce. It says, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. So the point is that the lies corrupt what? The thoughts. Let me tell you how people don't know their thoughts are under attack. Because when Satan wants to attack people, you think Satan will say that. Satan will come and say, I'm tempting you, eat this bread. I'm tempting you, do this. No, that's not temptation. When temptation comes, it will come in your words. I feel like. But that feeling is a suggestion of Satan. The same thing he tempted Jesus Christ with. He told Eve that, eat this fruit. If you want to be like what? The question is, what was it like before? So what he did, let me tell you a thing. Eating the fruit was not the problem. It was the fact that she bought the lie. She bought the self-doubt. What is self-doubt? To doubt what exactly you are. Eve doubted exactly who she was. She was already like God. Satan says, do this to become like God. And this is the number one temptation of, the, of, the, of Satan. How do I know? Is it not the same thing with Jesus Christ? What was he trying to do? He was trying to put self-doubt in Jesus. Self-doubt makes you lose opportunities. Because that's what self-doubt does. Self-doubt makes you unstable. It says you eventually will not excel. So the reason why some of you find that you cannot fully pursue something, you procrastinate, you are halfway in and halfway out, is because at the root of it, there's a self-doubt there. Can I be honest with you? Many of you that are single here have self-doubt that you get married. You have self-doubt you get married. As a matter of fact, when someone approaches you, all this marriage thing, I'm not even sure it's for me. You know what the Bible says? It says if you think like that, unstable as water, you will not excel. And that's why in this series we're talking about how to overcome self-doubt. And you have to track it. Where did this start from? In what area does it happen? Because you don't have self-doubt in everything. Sometimes it's in specific areas that this happens. So maybe what you want to do between now and next week is this. Will you write where your self, what area you started from? And also write for yourself. What do you want to write for yourself? Write specific things. This what area and when did this start? Some of you love your children so much. You're protecting them from the real world. And that's why all of these things about don't give people grades in school, everybody has passed, everybody is a success. You know this new thing going on in schools? It's all rubbish. Because in the real world, people win and people lose. And every child must know what it feels like winning, what it feels like losing, and what to do when you win, and what to do when you lose. So we have people that when they enter the real world, they are, when they lose, they don't know what to do. Can I be honest with you? Ladies that are very close to their fathers always have marital problems. It's in a, in a funny way. And you know why they have marital problems? Because most of the time, they expect their father from their husband. I'm telling you, they expect their father from their husband. Then number two, they always forget that their father, they were their father's daughter, not their father's wife. So when they come into a marriage, they want to be treated as that favorite daughter 
of their husband. M many of you know what I'm talking about, yes or no? So they come into the marriage. In the marriage, they're wondering, why are you not treating like my dad? And we're like, see, ladies that are close to your father, if you want to get a good balance, think of how your father treats your mom. That's how you should be treated. Most of those ladies that are close to their father, they even know their father's girlfriend. They will cover her from their mother. And now that life is happening to you, you are shocked. Like, why is it happening that way? There's nothing wrong with you. It's just life. Financial challenges, just life. The reason why is that once you know that, then you know that if this is just life, then I know how to what, approach it. You know, I was talking to, one lady was talking to some weeks ago and she was like, three or four people said they don't want to help me. I said that, how many people do you have to talk to to get help? You have to talk to quite a number. It's good for us to be this number in church. But do you know for a long time, in our services, we're just six people. We're just six people. It's just to begin to change. It's, it's what I call mental templates. I'll give an example. Just like some of you, the way you are when you date, your boyfriend must give you money every month. Some of you are like that, yes or no? Some people are like that, you know. Some, of you, some people are like that. So when they date, you expect like pocket money from your boyfriend every month. Yeah, some people are like, what's that? You know, that, that's rubbish. But some are like, but the key thing, I'm not even saying if it's right or wrong. What it, the problem is, is your mental, is a template in your mind. So when the boyfriend is not giving you money every month, you say it's stingy. Not because it's stingy, because your template says it should do this. The problem is this. Look at me. I'm not here to address if it's right or wrong. This is not relationship class. What I'm here to address is that once your template is wrong, you will have problems. So for example, some template says once we date, we must be having sex without question. Is it not true? So, if you date someone like that and you say, I'm born again, say, eh, and what? Me too, I'm born again now. Just come, let's do it. So, the question is not either you're born again or not. It's a template problem. So, sometimes what you want to change is the template you have in your mind. <laughs>